Hi there, I'm Andy Malone, I'm a Microsoft MVP and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Azure AD Connect has been out for a number of years, previously known as tools like Azure AD Sync and DirSync. Its main responsibility was to connect the on-premises Active Directory environment of your company to the Microsoft Cloud, aka Microsoft Azure and Microsoft 365. It did this by installing a connector. Uh, and this connector would essentially, once installed, allow us to migrate or move users, contacts, groups, and even devices into the cloud. There we could then license those users, and those users would then take advantage of all the uh, features of Microsoft 365. But in recent years, of course, Azure AD Connect has been known as an on-premises tool. It's quite legacy. It's not really changed very much. So now Microsoft are now starting to look at a cloud version, an agent that you essentially install. So how does this agent work and what does it do? Well, let's take a look and see. Azure AD Connect Cloud Provisioning. So this replaces Azure AD Connect that we all know and love. And as a, as a benefit, um, it's definitely, definitely a lightweight device. So in previous incarnations of Azure AD Connect, previously known as Azure AD Sync, or even DirSync, we, it was involved that we install a piece of software. And it was a fairly hefty piece of software onto an on-premises uh, domain. And the idea was once connected, um, you use your credentials, you log into the portal and you log in to your local domain at the same time. It then replicates or copies users, groups, mail enable contacts, and of course devices into the cloud. Once in the cloud, you would then license them, obviously. But the idea was as a provisioning tool, it was very, very good. Now, Azure AD Connect, so the full product, definitely brings advantages. So you can do single sign-on, for example. You can do pass-through pass authentication with single sign-on, which means that once you're, once you're logged into a device such as a Windows 10 corporate laptop, you're, you don't then need to be re-authenticated into the cloud because you're already authenticated. So single sign-on definitely has uh, a number of benefits. So uh, what are the benefits of using the cloud provisioning tool then in Azure? Well, first of all, um, you can synchronize multiple uh, forests. So multiple disconnected AD forests into one tenant. So uh, another benefit is you might have, let's say, multiple active agents for one forest for high availability. That's great. Um, again, multiple provisioning agents can be used to simplify AD deployments, um, particularly things like critical organizations or companies who are going through acquisitions and mergers. That could be quite useful. However, at this point, the product is a little bit immature, but it's, it's still quite useful, um, but it does have a few limitations. So I would like to point out Azure AD Connect is definitely not dead at this point. Um, in terms of limitations, you can it supports fully supports hybrid. However, there is no write back capability supported at the moment. There's no device write back, um, and also you can't connect to, for example, third party LDAP directories. Now, one of the real benefits of using Azure AD Connect is that you can, for example, customize attributes. Unfortunately, this is not supported and neither is PTA. So PTA and single sign-on um, is not supported here. So, but pass-through authentication definitely is. But however, um, if you're a small, medium organization, you've got a fairly simple, not complex setup, then it's quite useful. Um, and it's really, really just easy to set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here into my Azure Active Directory and assuming that you have set up already a domain name. So you've set up a verified domain name for your own company. And the next step, of course, is that you go into Azure Active Directory 
and again so the the domain name then we go into azure ad connect so now normally in azure ad connect you would go here and download for example the full products now just before i go into uh, azure ad connect i'm going to go into tools and i'm going to go into my active directory so this is my directory service on premises and at this point i'm going to go in and have a look at my users and groups so yeah, i've got a ou or organizational here called it and i've got a user called beth burke now beth uh, let's have a look at her account and you can see i've updated beth's account to have a live domain name so this is not a an internal domain name but a, what we call a managed domain name okay now once all those accounts are updated what i'm then going to do or normally you would then go and download azure ad connect but today we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to provision it directly from the cloud and instead of downloading the full boona of the product what we do is we download this nice thin slim agent okay now just a, a, a gotcha you need to download dotnet 4.71 for this to work okay so assuming that i've already done that i now simply go in accept the agreement and i go ahead and install this so off it goes and it installs the agent takes a couple of minutes now it says it can take two minutes to install um, again this this uh, install went through pretty quickly for me so once it's installed I then just close that down and now it, it's asking me to authenticate so up it comes with the authentication dialog box I go into my administrator account and you can see it's I've already got cash credentials so it's not asking me for my password it's automatically detected the name of my domain um, but if you did have different forests you could click on the drop down arrow I now put my credentials in and you can see it says do you want to add this domain in I do indeed so we click next and that's it that's all you do you get a quick confirmation really really simple to set up and we just click on finish now it can take a few moments for this to synchronize so um, once it's done the agent configuration it says was well, verified it's successful okay so now that that's installed I'm gonna go into my portal so here I am in Azure AD connect and I'm going to manage cloud provisioning so in here first of all you can see that um, my agent has been installed so the agent has gone in and it's currently got a status of healthy I can click on to this agent just to have a little um, uh, another look at it and one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to configure the agent okay so first up then um, the active directory domain is azure uh, or is a datum.com and then it says okay what's the scoping filter so do you want to synchronize all users selected security groups or selected organizational units and again if you selected that you could then um, browse for that for the purpose of this demo I'm just going to go ahead and select all users so I'm done then it says now this is a current limitation so do you want to do password hash sync so what this does is it takes the password of the user uh, of course the last thing you want is transmission of passwords over the internet so it takes a mathematical hash value then it runs it through a secondary hash value and it transmits that hash over SSL so over a secure web connection so when the user logs on at this side it compares the hash value with the hash value in the cloud um, again you can also put a notification email in here so an admin at mycompany.com so be notified of uh, any kind of health issues and are you ready to deploy it yes I am so I'm good I'm just gonna click on enable and off it goes and it will then provision 
I can uh, refresh the provisioning at any time. So you can see that this, off it goes, it's restarting the provisioning and gets all my users in there. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's, like I said, pretty simple stuff. Um, you can go in and view the connector health. So it tells me um, when it was last updated, um, how many groups, how many users have been updated, whether it's active, whether there's any issues or any problems there. You can review the agents. And of course, you can also check out the log files here as well. So again, there's not a lot happening here, but you can go into the log file. And again, it shows you that um, provisioning user in Active Directory. Again, that could be a, a timing. Sometimes it's a timing issue. And uh, again, the event, the user does eventually uh, turn up. So what I'm going to do now is if I go into my users here in Azure AD, and you can now see that all my users have now been replicated, have now been uh, synchronized. You'll notice that, um, well, if I go into my 365 portal, you get exa again exactly the same users, but this time the users come in and they are unlicensed. So one of the things you'll need to do is obviously license those users. So cloud provisioning is not 100%, uh, doesn't give you 100% functionality that Azure AD Connect did, but at the moment it's really nice and as a, as a technology, it's very cool as well. Um, uh, when you start looking at some of other, some of the other Microsoft tools here, so for example, um, uh, enterprise applications. In enterprise applications, we have the application proxy. Again, this is also an agent. So a very, very lightweight agent, for example, to help you um, uh, if you have applications on premises that you want to make available to users. So that's, again, a really useful feature. So there you go, just a quick overview of Azure Active Directory cloud provisioning. Um, very, very promising and very exciting. So there you have it, Azure AD Connect cloud provisioning. Absolutely fantastic and so simple to use. It does have a few limitations at the moment, but I think you'll agree the future looks promising. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. And uh, what can I say? Have a great day and stay safe out there. Remember, if you've enjoyed it, go ahead and click on that bell up there and definitely subscribe and come back and see us again. All right. I'm Andy Malone. You take care.